Yes, welcome back to free engineering tutorial on operating system. In previous video, we had discussed about implementations and working of semaphores. Now in this video, we will discuss about applications of semaphores. So in first video of synchronization, I discussed about producer and consumer pro uh, programs and what are the problems associated with these two programs. Okay, that pointer was not increasing up to the expectations of the programmer in this producer and consumer process who are, uh, who are taking one pointer as shared resources that was the need for synchronization okay so now we will solve that bounded buffer problem with the help of semaphores so how it is solved it will be solved by three semaphores we will deploy three semaphores for producer consumer problem one is mutex okay so one is mutex after that we will check whether the box or container where we have to produce um, uh, we have to keep the produced goods and from where we are taking that consumer is taking the goods so for that container we will check whether it is empty or not if it is empty then we will produce and keep the good but if it is not empty we will wait for it to be empty after that we will check whether the container is full or not so this full will be checked in consumer okay so now we can start our explanation so firstly producer will produce its good and now it will check whether the container is empty or not if it is empty it will check whether this is that uh, this is the instant where this producer can produce there there may be many producers which are expecting to produce and keep their goods in the in this same container okay but this should not be happening with all the process at the same time at one time there should be a quality of mutual exclusion okay so this mutual exclusion will be done by this mutex so mutex are generally binary semaphores means at one time only one process can execute the critical section so this is the critical section means where we will add next p2 buffer okay so this is the buffer container now when this process means producer will keep its good this good okay so this is the good now it will close the mutex means it will uh, give the signal that yes now container is ready to grab another good and uh, it's uh, it uh, means the functionality of this present producer is uh, gone or completed after that it will signal that this container is full okay so now if it is full it will check means consumer process will check whether there is something in this container or not okay so how it will check it will check using this full semaphore so now this full semaphore will keep uh, will come into picture and now this consumer process again okay so as it is doing writing processes so it will check okay that whether it is the turn for this process or not when it will be the turn for consumer process means this mutex is uh, allowing consumer to come in the critical section so this is the critical section of consumer here it will grab the process or grab the resources out of the buffer or container so this is the container from here it will uh, grab out this good from the container now it will return the control to the other processor uh, other uh, process whether uh, if it is requesting to execute means if any other process wants to execute any other consumer or any other producer wants to execute or wants to take critical section into its execution they can take okay so from this mutex after that it will signal that yes at this time this container is empty and is ready to be filled so now producer can again take the advantage of empty buffer and will produce the buffer uh, means to produce the good and keep it in container so in this way classic problem of uh, what we can say bounded buffer problem is solved okay using semaphores now the second problem is readers writers problem so reader writer problem by the name itself signifies that at the time of reading and writing of processes we are getting a collision what collision that if any reading process is coming 
ओके एंड वॉन्ट्स टू शेयर वॉन्ट्स टू शेयर और वॉन्ट्स टू एग्जीक्यूट वॉन्ट्स टू टेक क्रिटिकल सेक्शन सो इट शुड नॉट वेट फॉर एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम वाई इट इज सो बिकॉज एट द टाइम ऑफ रीडर रीडर्स प्रोसेस वेन इट विल एग्जीक्यूट द क्रिटिकल सेक्शन इट विल नॉट आल्टर और इट विल नॉट चेंज द क्रिटिकल सेक्शन कंटेंट्स ओके इट विल नॉट चेंज द क्रिटिकल सेक्शन कंटेंट्स सो इफ इट इज नॉट चेंजिंग देन वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ मेकिंग इट वेट ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन we have to differentiate between different process whether they want to read the read any process or whether they want to write any process so this implementation is also done by using semaphores if any writing this is the case of reading process okay now if any writing uh, means writer process is coming so for this writer process we have to keep care uh, we have to be careful of that uh, like writer process will tamper or it will change the content of critical section so for this we have to keep track of mutual exclusion okay mutual exclusion and we have to keep track that at the time this writing process is executing this writer process is executing there should be no other process which is reading or which is writing at the same critical section okay so because of this we are implementing readers writers problem or we are solving this problem using semaphores so how it is solved in this program we can see that this is the writer process okay so writer process is simple it will check whether it is the turn for the writer process when it will be the turn for writer process okay so it is the turn for writer process writing is performed so with the help of one semaphore only so this is the writer semaphore okay so with the help of this one semaphore it will check whether this is the turn of writer semaphore or not if it is not the turn then writer process will wait okay but here in readers section what we can see that when one process is coming it will check whether this is the only process for the readers okay so it will be uh, also be taken place in exclusion okay so it will not be same just like writer process it will check whether there is any reader process or not if it is reader process then it will count read count okay so this read count is a critical section also okay so for handling read count variable so this is read count okay so for handling this we also have to make an exclusion okay so no two process can access read count at the same time or they can't change the data inside the read count at the same time when read count is made uh, will be made one it will be checked whether it is one or not if it is one then we have to wait for the writer process okay then writer process will be signaled that there is one process and now this writer process can't be executed after this this signal mutex means now the reading process will be empty okay and uh, now it can share it can use its critical section okay reading is performed so for reading we don't have to use any critical section this reading part is not a critical section okay so let me ex uh, explain once again so this is one data okay for reading there will be no change of content so one reader process is coming it will make it will enter a register that yes it is coming and it will make the content one that yes i am going to read okay after making it one it will make the writer process wait for some time until it is over okay after that so writer process will be true okay after that it will read so for reading there should be no mutual exclusion as many process who are coming for reading can read the critical section so here in this way the things are being executed now coming to the another section here the wait mutex again okay so when the reading is being performed again we have to decrease the register that yes i am leaving this critical section and now read count will again made to so again it will be made to zero okay so in this way read count will be initiated and it will be made zero after reading is over 
as you can see that read count is equals to zero now writer process can execute its program okay so here now you can see that there is a signal that yes you can perform your execution or you can access critical section so in this way all the things are being executed again for read count also here also for decrementing the read count we will use this mutex function okay so this mutex will be used for read count two times so we will be using writers then again mutex okay so these are the two uh, variables which we will use in our readers writers solution now the third thing is dining philosopher problem so it is a nice problem so i will discuss it in next video till then thank you